hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this instagram story animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation as always. Width I'm going to choose 1080 and height I'm going to choose 1920. This is because this is my Instagram story animation. So frame rate I'm going to choose 30 and duration let's choose 10 seconds only. And background color I'm going to choose white color and simply hit OK and then hit OK. Now go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Now I'm going to select my paint tool and I don't want any fill so I'll delete this fill like this and from here to here I'm going to create one stroke like this. Okay now for the stroke color I'm going to choose black color and let's increase the stroke size like this. Okay now select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then let's go to the contents let's go to the add menu and we will choose trim path go to the trim path let's make this 50 and uh, i mean end value is 50 and start value is also 50 create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here go to the shape one go to the stroke one and we will create one keyframe on stroke width also now hit u so we can see those keyframes and go to around 1.15 frames and create one keyframe on each and every property now let's go to the start and let's make this stroke width 0 and go over here and let's make this start value 0 and this end value 100 like this so if you see this we will get something like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now you can select the stroke width and you can select this last keyframe and you can move it to around 2.15 frames so let's see we will get something like this now select the shape layer let's go inside this shape one and in stroke one as you can see we have butt caps in line caps so let's choose round caps and hit u so now if you see this we will get something like this now select this shape layer, hit ctrl D to duplicate it, press V to select your selection tool and let's move it over here, hit U, let's go to the last keyframe and let's decrease this stroke width and let's adjust the position over here like this, hit ctrl D to duplicate it, let's move this over here, somewhere around over here, hit U and let's increase the stroke width somewhere around like this. Select this, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, hit U. Let's move this over here and stroke width. I'm going to decrease it somewhere around like this and let's move this totally up to here. Hit Ctrl D again and let's move this stroke width over here. Okay, hit U. And now if you see this animation, we will get something like this. Now hit page down button two times and let's move this middle one over here again hit page down button two times select this one over here hit page down button two times select this one move this over here hit page down button two times select this one and move this over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this and you can adjust the position of each and every one of them like this and i think this one and this one should be over here like this select all of them press p for position let's move this totally up to here i think this looks good to me now press ctrl i to import your image i'm going to select this image you are free to choose whatever image you want i'm going to select this one and let's move this over here now let's select all the shape layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as mask and simply hit ok now select this image, press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Select this image and hit Ctrl D. Let's hide this one for now. 
now press ctrl y to create a solid background i'll call it as bg and color is white so simply hit ok and bring this downwards and we will lock this layer select this take uh, i mean image press t for opacity and let's make this opacity let's say 10 so we can see our image a little bit over here also you can select this mask press t for position you can move this up to totally up to here enable this icon also select this image let's move this over here press s for scaling option and scale it like this and press f4 and in track mat i am going to choose alpha mat so as you can see if you see this we will get something like this now let's select this mask right click reveal reveal layer in source project as you can see we have this mask over here so simply hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we will bring this composition over here like this now double click to open this composition hitting you like this and instead of hitting you uh, or you can go to the last keyframe and you can delete those stroke width keyframes for each and every animation like this and hit you select all of them and stroke width i'm going to choose 10 like this let's go to the main animation so we'll get this kind of stuff over here you can choose blending mode for this one as you can see we are getting something like that then press t for opacity and you can decrease the opacity of each and every one of them let's select all of them and let's try to increase the stroke width and let's see what kind of results we get we'll get something like this press p for position and let's move this over here press t for opacity and let's increase the opacity let's go inside this and again increase the stroke width a little bit like this now select this mask to hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's bring it over here again now double click to open this select all of them and the stroke width i'm going to choose 5 and for the stroke color i'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok so we will get this kind of colors over here let's move this over here press p for position let's bring this over here and let's bring this over here or let's choose downwards like this press f4 and enable make sure to enable this option let's go inside this select all of them and let's make this stroke width one like this so we'll get this a little bit of extra lines effect so we'll get this kind of animations like this now select this mask too let's move this over here and select this mask move this over here like this now select this image press p for position create one keyframe press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u and initially i'm going to move my key image over here and um, around six up to six seconds let's move this image over here like this so if you see this animation we will get a little bit of image movement over here select this background image press r for rotation let's rotate it like this create one keyframe press p for position initially move this over here create one keyframe hit u let's go to the last keyframe and let's make this minus 5 and let's move this over here so if you see this animation now we will get this kind of stuff okay so our this much thing is ready now we have to add certain text but before that we need some animations for this image also so for that what we can do we can either create one mask for this image also so simply double click on this rectangle i don't want any stroke so let's delete this stroke i don't uh, want any particular color for this fill so i'll choose white color and this is just a mask so i'll move this over here select this image press f4 and let's call it as alpha mat now let's select this to this all of them press ctrl shift c to pre-compose i'll call it as front image sorry for the spell mistake okay and simply hit ok press f4 and don't forget to enable this option like this okay and now select this one and this one press ctrl shift c to pre-compose it and let's call it as bg and hit ok and also enable this option now double click to open this bg select the shape layer press s let's unlink this and create one keyframe over here go to around one second create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero 
select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here so we will get this kind of stuff so if you see we will get this kind of animation now i'll press ctrl i to import my logo i have this logo over here so i'll simply hit import let's move this over here and press s for scaling option and i'll scale it somewhere around like this and i'll move my logo over top corner let's zoom in like this okay i think this looks good now select the text tool and for the font i am going to choose oswald like this and you are free to type whatever text you want i am going to type a g hit ctrl a and let's increase the size of this text like this let's make this 1500 select this text let's decrease the distance between these two texts select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this now go to the character menu i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill and uh, for the stroke uh, color i'm going to choose white color and we will bring this totally up to backward after this image now select this again hit ctrl d bring this at the top and for this one i'm going to choose white color and for the opacity i'm going to choose or instead of that we don't need that also select this one and for the stroke width i'm going to choose one only like this this is just the extra stuff select this text press p for position let's move this over here create one keyframe hit t create one keyframe hit u go to one second again create another keyframe go to the start let's move this over here and let's make this zero select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so we'll get something like this now let's go over here and opacity i'm going to choose 20 only we don't want much more opacity for this one now our this much portion is ready now we have to add our certain amount of text so i'm going to create one rectangle and for the fill i'm going to choose with the help of this picker i'll select this color only and simply hit ok and i'm going to create one rectangle over here press ctrl alt home to align the tanker point to the center select the shape layer hit ctrl d go to the fill and i'm going to choose something like this hit ok press v and let's move this over here like this press y for selecting your anchor point and by holding ctrl i'll bring my anchor point over here also select this one by holding ctrl move this anchor point over here select this press v and let's move this somewhere around like this and make this fit okay select those things and let's move this over here and let's move this over here select this layer let's bring this over here now select your text tool and type over the text whatever textual content you want i'm going to type let's choose black color for the text and i'm going to decrease the font size to let's say 50 not 50 so we're around like this and type one text oh sorry i have selected this text so let's select this and type text i'm going to type subscribe let's make this zero select this text press ctrl alt home press v let's move this over here press s and scale it like this let's choose a little bit medium version of the font select this with the help of the speaker i'm going to choose this color press s for scaling option scale it like this hit ctrl d to duplicate it move this over here and let's choose white color hit ctrl t and let's set to my channel select this press ctrl alt home press v and let's move this over here and for this one i'm going to choose lighter version let's see what we will get i think we need to select this one let's decrease the size like this select this one let's decrease the size like this 
select both of them and let's move them over here so now if we see this thing we'll get something like this now we have to animate this stuff also so for that what we need to do i'm going to select these shape layers go to the start press s let's unlink this create to one keyframe over here go to around 1.15 frames create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here somewhere around like this and go to 15 frames select this one let's move this over here okay now select this subscribe text uh, let's go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for set matte effect and we will choose this one for this so go to the take matte from layer and i'm going to select the fourth layer so if you see it will act like a mask also select the set matte effect hit ctrl c select this hit ctrl v and over here i'm going to choose this third layer like this now go to the start select both the uh, text layer press p for position create one keyframe go to 1.15 frames create another keyframe go to the start let's move this over here now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here go around over here select this and let's move this over here so if you see we will get this kind of text animation for this one and if you want you can create another background elements for this one also so select or pull all these things press ctrl shift c and let's call it as text and hit ok hit ctrl d let's move this over here press s for scaling option and scale it like that and you can move this over here let's scale it let's move this over here press t for opacity and let's make this 5 or oh, little bit extra so if you see this we are gonna get this kind of animation and at 5 second i am going to hit n so if you see we can create this type of instagram story animations for our instagram handle or for any sports related subject or anything so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.